Reels knowledge at reels.com slash Beatles. For every celebrity icon, there were places where life-changing events happened, events that shaped and impacted who they became. For John Lennon, it was the sights and sounds of his hometown of Liverpool. And by 1971, after the bitter breakup of the Beatles, it was this apartment on Bank Street in Greenwich Village that he shared with Yoko Ono. And while Lennon was still a creative force as a solo artist, the 1971 anthem Imagine is his signature song, it was his pro-peace, anti-war politics that were going to define the next five turbulent years of his life. John was such a powerful spokesperson of of peace and he had so much power with his interviews he's such a he's a giant he's a public figure at this point and he's starting to use his voice richard nixon along with the fbi starts a witch hunt to get john and yoko out of the united states before they could influence the 1972 election michael wilds is the son of john and yoko's lawyer leon wilds richard nixon wanted to remove john lennon from the united states they found an old drug charge in the UK, and they tried to deport the famous Beatle based on that drug charge. In 68, there was a misdemeanor charge against Lennon for pot. They try and use that uh, to as, as evidence that he needs to be deported. And it's a really trumped up charge, but it's really all they've got. Lennon wants more than anything to be, he wants a green card, but they won't give it to him. And they're threatening him and threatening him. They begin building a file on Lennon. They begin following Lennon, thousands of pages of documentation where the government is monitoring John Lennon. Nixon is so paranoid that he has Lennon's phones tapped. Leon Wilds was John and Yoko's lawyer. Well, it was pretty obvious at the uh, time as I would meet with him that the government was listening to our conversations on our phones. John used to call our house disguised as a woman. John knew he was being tailed by immigration and the phone calls were being listened. If they would set up a meeting or want to talk about something, he would disguise his voice. There's a phrase from the 60s that just because you're paranoid doesn't mean you're not being followed. John and Yoko were paranoid. Uh, they started to hear mysterious clicks on the phone as if somebody was taping the phone and people were saying, like, why would they tape the phone of a pop star? I mean, it doesn't really make sense that the government would waste money taping your phone. John Lennon and his friends and associates soon find themselves tailed by mysterious figures in trench coats and fedoras. He would say, there are these two guys across the street, and they're fixing this bike interminably. But the moment Yoko and I have a car pick us up, they're in both seated in the front of the car behind us, and they are following us. And it wasn't until maybe a year or two later when it really started coming out that the FBI had been following John and Yoko. Leon Wilds knows the 1968 pot charge against John and Yoko is bogus and is confident he can keep his clients in the country. But the case doesn't go exactly as he had planned. We lost the initial case. John Lennon was ordered deported from the United States. As a matter of principle, he refused to leave, and he stayed and authorized me to appeal the decision. We had one week to make a decision as to appeal, and we decided to have our own press conference right in this very room. And in this room, in this very room, unbeknownst to dad, John and Yoko declared themselves as ambassadors of a country that they made up, Newtopia. And this wasn't rehearsed, but I was so impressed with their gumption in the middle of a public appearance and that they were asking for special permission to live here in the United States. While the Newtopia stunt is a success, the deportation case against John Lennon looms over his head for two more years. In mid-1973, John and Yoko realize that they need to move somewhere more secure than their ground floor apartment on Bank Street. Because uh, after a while, living on Bank Street became a little too public. They actually have a door that opened onto the street, and uh, fans started finding out that they were there and started hanging out on the block. They find a place in an exclusive building on the Upper West Side called the Dakota. They wanted a bit more security and certainly when they moved up to the dakota that's a different kind of building where uh there's like double layers of guards at the entrances and several locked doors between the street and the elevator 
But while John and Yoko find a more secure place to live, their relationship starts to fall apart. Well, at the time in John Lennon's life, he had a lot of problems. His band had broken up. He was an unemployed musician. He was not making any money, any new money. All the money that they had made was being held in escrow because his manager, Alan Klein, was in a lawsuit involved with the Beatles. Uh, his reaction at the time was to drink a lot. So he was getting quite drunk to the point where Yoko just got tired of living with him, just being morose and being drunk all the time. So uh, Yoko asked for a separation and uh, asked John to go to California so they could be apart for a while. John spent 18 months in Los Angeles without Yoko, a year and a half long epic bender that becomes known as the Lost Weekend. It was a chance for John to let loose after 15 years in the spotlight. When John finally reunites with Yoko in New York, she becomes pregnant. And Sean Ono Lennon is born on October 9th, 1975, John Lennon's 35th birthday. Actually, the day that Sean was born, which was also John's birthday, they found out that they had won their case against the government and that he would be allowed to stay in the U.S. Things were starting to settle down for John Lennon after a tumultuous five years following the breakup of the Beatles. But while domestic bliss was on the horizon... He had a beautiful boy. So was tragedy. This guy pulls out a revolver and puts five bullets into his back. 